how much does Boink or folding at home actually cost you? Well, we're gonna look at that. We're gonna use a simple uh, on the wall uh, wattage meter to see how much of a load Boink and folding at home uh, place on your computer and also how much that, that costs you in electricity. Collectively, is donating your computer for Boink or folding at home a good thing? Well, we can see that uh, these projects do further science and medical research. But would it be better if you just donated uh, the money uh, to these organizations uh, to build their own uh, large computer structures? Uh, well, if you do the math, uh, according to Blank's website, they have about 80,000 users. And if they are burning each $25 in electricity a month, this could be another $2.2 million of revenue for uh, this project every month. Uh, that could build a pretty uh, good uh, computing system. Now in terms of uh, actual return on performance, I would say one uh, dedicated machine would be better than uh, a bunch of low powered machines uh, that have to do continuous data transfers over networks and all that. But at the same time, people aren't always readily avail able to uh, donate money, uh, especially you know, $25, $35 a month. Uh, that they could easily do by just leaving their computer on. Um, now, another thing is uh, Boink and folding at home, uh, even though it may not be the most efficient way of uh, utilizing CPU, resource, CPU and GPU resources, um, it gets people kind of uh, inspired and thinking about these projects because uh, they are able to help out. It's pulling about uh, 450 watts. Now at idle, a computer, runs normally about 100 watts. So on this particular platform, uh, we're using about 350 extra watts uh, continuously. Now you do the math over a month at an average of 10 cents a kilowatt hour. That's 3.5 cents an hour times 24 hours. So we got 3.5 times 24 then we're gonna multiply by 30 for uh, the entire month. So we got about $25.20 electricity. Uh, that's how much extra our electric bill is gonna be if we leave this computer on for an entire month running uh, the higher load. Now, this doesn't seem to be all that much, but when you take all the users out there that are running uh, Boink, um, that adds up to quite a bit of money. So you have to kind of think about, well, what if, uh, Blank, what if we just donated this money directly to Blank? Well, I can tell you, more than likely, all these people aren't going to donate their money to Blank. Another good thing about Blank is you can set your demand and your donation level by how many processors, how, ma how much of the processor do you want to use? Do you want to allow the software to use your GPUs? So, you can donate as much resources as you want. You can build a machine just for Blank, as some people do. Um, or you can just have it run, you know, a couple hours a day in the background uh, and just donate a few dollars a month in electricity. Basically what it comes to. Now what about folding at home? Well, uh, I noticed right out, out of the box, if I crank folding at home to maximum settings that use both GPUs and all 12 cores of my Xeon processor, I noticed we were running about 650 watts. Now this is quite a bit more. You know, we're talking about the $35 a month in electricity now uh, with the higher load. Now given that's running uh, Boink, I mean, excuse me, now given that's running folding at home around the, around the clock 24-7 uh, for every day for a month, uh, you're gonna have about, spend about $35 in electricity. Which, you know, is up to you. I think it's kind of a fun project, uh, personally. Um, uh, if I run it, I like just to use my CPUs uh, and have the GPUs off because that's just, even though the GPUs are good at what they're calculating, um, that's quite a bit of money to spend on electricity. Uh, plus, uh, that's a lot more heat in my case. Uh, now you can check out some of these other uh, guys' pages here on the internet. You see some people building water cooling systems just for blank projects.